Hello everyone, welcome to the channel District Endocrine. This is Dr. Anis Rahman. Uh, I'm an endocrinologist and today we are going to talk about hypothyroidism and COVID-19 infection. Uh, this video content is based on the official statements of the American Thyroid Association and CDC. Um, and I would like to answer a fairly common question that hypothyroid patients ask us in our clinics. Hypothyroidism and COVID-19 infection. Um, in terms of the hypothyroidism, which is also known as an underactive thyroid, is a condition when the thyroid gland cannot keep up with the demand of thyroid hormone production. Uh, this is a widespread condition uh, which may be caused by uh, different etiologies such as autoimmune diseases, uh, trauma, uh, inflammation, iodine deficiency, pregnancy, viral infections, thyroid surgery, radiation exposures, or certain medications. Uh, patients can present with non-specific symptoms such as fatigue, weight gain, skin changes, constipation, change in voice, um, and the list goes on. It is a fairly common question people with low thyroid ask that there is there any increase in acquiring uh, COVID-19 infection uh, or the, 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 the infection can be more uh, serious. Well, the simple answer is no. There is no data or no clinical research trial to prove uh, that this is a possibility. The second part of the video is autoimmune thyroid disease such as Hashimoto thyroiditis uh, increases the risk of COVID-19 infection or maybe the severity of the infection. Is that right? Now, the US Center for Disease Control, CDC, have advised that immunocompromised people should be cautious and take precautions to avoid COVID-19 infections. Now, these patients are at higher risk of acquiring the infection and developing severe illness from COVID-19. Immunocompromised patients have weak immune system, which is the body's strength to fight outside infections. And this could be because of the medications or different medical conditions. Uh, it is essential to know that immune system is very complex. It is not that every autoimmune disease affects the body's strength to fight infections. Similarly, having an autoimmune thyroid disease does not compromise the immune system or reduce the ability to fight viral infections. Uh, at this point, there is no scientific data to prove that having an autoimmune thyroid disease increases the risk of acquiring or developing a severe form of COVID-19 infection. The last question is, are there, the next question is, are there any shortages of levothyroxine in the US? Well, levothyroxine is a very commonly prescribed medication in the US. Uh, availability in many brands and uh, generic types across all the pharmacies is never an issue. Uh, it is on the $4 Walmart pharmacy list for those patients who do not have insurance coverage. Uh, currently, there are no known uh, shortages of the thyroid hormone replacement medication at this point. The last question is for our thyroid patients, how to limit, limit the risk of COVID exposure? Well, at this point, uh, it is recommended that maintaining a social distancing and limiting the exposure of COVID-19, wearing a mask, uh, avoiding unnecessary travel, and staying at home is the best, best strategy. Several pharmacies are offering mail order uh, for free uh, so that you can get your medications at home. Uh, you should also getting a 90 day supply when if you are going to pick up from a pharmacy so that you are no longer visiting the pharmacies uh, every month uh, and that will result in uh, decreased exposure. Well, this was the first video on the COVID-19 and endocrine disorders. Uh, I will put more content as we go. Thank you for watching the channel. Uh, do not forget to subscribe our channel District Endocrine and like this video. Um, you may also visit our website at www.districtendocrine.com for more details. Uh, thank you very much for watching and stay safe. Thank you. Bye-bye.